<laughs> no, I don't no. think it does. <laughs> no. But right now, do mumblers drive you mad? Do you share your life with a partner who refuses to speak clearly? Because I do. Whenever she's in the room, the other room, I should say, I shall shout out my name to grab my attention like this. Matthew! And then go... No, 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 no. How many times do I say what or pardon in a day? How many times do I have to stop doing whatever the important stuff is that I am doing at the time so I can walk to wherever she's lying around doing sweet Fanny Adams to ask her, <laughs> what was that you just said, darling? And she, I'll tell you. I'll tell you how many times I did it. Loads of times. She's accused me of being a bit mutton, so I got a hearing test, and you know what? Nothing wrong with my Britney's. <laughs> Britney Spears ears. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit like being married to this guy. The <laughs> far shows fabulous QC <laughs> Rowley Burke in there, but uh, I suppose at least you can switch him off, Steve. Oh, it's a weird thing, this mumbly thing. I, uh, my ex-wife has uh, got a great voice, and she does a lot of voiceovers, and, but there was a... I used to have the same as you. I was going, I'm sure I've said what or pardon about 40 times in the last hour. I think it's... I don't think it's necessarily just mumbling. I think there's also certain frequencies that it's just harder for some people to hear. Unfortunately, it was the frequency that, that she talked. Speaking of... <laughs> <laughs> there's a million men out there thinking, oh, what a lucky guy. Uh, you can't hear your wife. I could hear her when she was on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Was and it, no, always no, no, and but, in the but, but other room, right. talking to you from no, the I other room? I think that people generally do... And I think when you relax into something, it's not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not being cruel, but I think when you're on the phone, you naturally do pitch up because you're on the phone and that's the way you... And if you're in the other room, you have to pitch up in order to get someone's attention. So I think it's when you feel relaxed with someone, yes. you kind of just kind of kick back into this slightly... Uh, relaxed you know or lazy? Saying, well, it is well, a I laziness. If you don't know someone, they mumble. It's a bit rude, isn't it? Yeah. It, it, in a way. I mean, my daughter says I mumble all the time, but that's fine because I'm at home and I... But I tell you, the worst mumbler is Phil Mitchell. Is he? In his... <laughs> I mean, actually, he's a bit better now, so maybe he's been told. But it's quite a sort of a, an American thing, isn't it? Mumbling a lot of... And a lot of American stage yes, 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 quite yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, what did you just say? Yeah, yeah. And then they move on and you're like, it's, it's quite a... I mean, thing. I don't want to make it a big issue, but it is. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I, I do find it quite rude, really, yes. especially when they've always got enough power to attract your attention. Mm. And then the other one is you go in, I go in, what, 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 what is it this time? And you say, oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because you know, you're not giving her enough attention, Matthew. That's what is it that is. Is that what it is? Yes. How much? Uh, how, much attention? Attention? how long ago did you get married, by the way? She needs uh, more money and more attention. Three months. Three months. And she already stays true. out all night, not tells me where she's going. It's disgraceful. <laughs> Liz, are you a mumbler? I am a mumbler. I am. I am. I, just, I talk very, very quietly, and my partner gets very upset with me, to the extent of, um, you know. Is it is it so wrong that you can't just look at me yeah, and we go, speak we go. clearly when you're looking at me? And I go, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do And he goes, oh, I'll see you doing it again. It's, it's, <laughs> it's quite scary. But actually, I find I'm the opposite. I find I have a lot of friends who are just far too loud. Lizzie, you know Liz? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gorgeous Liz, our friend. Um, just, I mean, you know, I'm telling her a big secret. She go, oh, my God, is that really true? Yeah, 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 yeah. be quiet. <laughs> yeah, I suppose at least I'm, I'm trying to think loud or quiet, which one I prefer. Loud can ah, be a bit see. more patronising, where you're, you're just talking yeah. a bit louder. <laughs> yeah. It's like you don't understand me. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's find out if any of you live with a mumbler. Kirsty? OK, we have Stephanie first on line three. Stephanie, good morning. Good morning. Have you got a problem with mumblers? Oh, shocking. Absolutely shocking. Right, Drives me talk. completely to distraction. Because, much like you said earlier, I end up like a little old chicken quacking after him. What did you say? What did you say? What was that? What was that? Could you repeat that? It just is the most maddening thing. But it's also, I think, extremely rude. And now I'm really getting in a state about it because I recently read in a psychologist's report about dominance. Those people that mumble assume a quiet dominance. It's like a passive aggression. Passive aggression. Uh, yes, 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 yes. When I get home, I'm going to show this, the five are repeat, I'm going to show this to Mrs Wright, because I said the same thing. Yes, it is absolutely right. It's a form of bullying. I'm even madder than I was before. But now I'm pretending that the hearing test actually um, said that I do have um, a problem with my right ear. So things hey. have improved slightly so far. Because now he thinks I'm deaf. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Madder than a box of frogs, Stephanie, ladies and gentlemen. Did she say urine 
test or hearing, hearing test. test. I can hear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Only one we've got, Mark. Mark? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I, I honestly didn't hear him. Because <laughs> I was crying. <laughs> Mark, good morning. Good morning, good morning Matthew. <laughs> so, um, mumbling, does it get to you? <laughs> does it? <laughs> Elvis. Yes, it doesn't get to me because I'm blind and disabled and my carers come oh. around every day Yeah. and they walk around my house and they, I, just like your comment a few minutes ago, they shout out, Mark, and then it goes, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and I get, maybe you can call me paranoid, but I get worried that they're talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> or that they don't know what they're doing <laughs> in my house. A, that I said, bothers me. It's a shocker. It's a shocker. Can I ask a really naive question? Because one of the things we're told is that if you lose one of your senses, the other senses are supposed to somehow compensate. So when you said you were blind, I just assumed that your hearing would be super sharp and, and you could hear a pin drop. Yes, it is. My yeah. hearing is accentuated. So, th so uh, they are really, blindness, they're but... really mumbling properly. Yeah, it's, um, you know, again, your comments, it's like, Mark, I think, what are you doing, you know? And do they, and, and they never change, would I be right in that? Because Mrs Wright, I've said it a million times, just speak a bit louder or come into the same room where I am. I've said to them, you know, sort of when they do it, I just shout out, you're doing it again. They go, <laughs> do I have to get up every time to follow you around the house, try and find out what you're doing? Oh. It's insane. Mark, thank you. Bless you with the call. We'll get one more on, yeah? Yeah, we have Margaret on line two. Margaret, good morning. Hello. Uh, you got no, a problem I with mumblers? I think mumbling's becoming a way of life. They, they see it on the television and the radio, on television. All these um, actors and actresses, the younger ones are the worst of all, yes. and they speak so quickly that you just can't understand what they're saying. Um, uh, I think it's, it's the younger ones are just picking up what they see on the television and on the films. I mean, Downton Abbey, the, the three young ladies in there, they gabble through their words and, and mumble so much you can't hear what they are saying. Don't talk about Downton Abbey, please. Why please not? don't, because it's amazing. Just, don't, amazing. just can't even attack yeah, that, Yeah, they don't please. talk like, like, like the dame, do they? Like Maggie? No. Yeah. No, the <laughs> actually, it's true. All these, actually, new, you've got a point, actually. These new dramas, you, you do find yourself... It's like watching American television, actually. You find yourself turning it right up, because they're like... And then she died, and it was and all. And suddenly, someone shouts. Like, oh. oh, yeah, and then the advert comes on, and you're like, "Dear God!" Yeah. It? Real lawyers, not just <laughs> fake lawyers. Real lawyers for you, <laughs> Margaret. Thank you. Should we have a mumble from the audience? We've had a few people accused of being mumblers. First of all, Diane. Driving yeah. mad? Yes, I've got quite a quiet voice, so I get told, "What I uh." And then I speak up and get told I'm shouting. Diane, you haven't got a quiet voice because I can hear you as clear as a bell. It's just that in certain situations you can't be bothered to speak clearly. <laughs> That's Ooh. probably true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the lady on like the other Danielle. side. Yeah. Um, my mum always used to accuse my brother and myself of mumbling, and now she does it all the time. She should know better. She was always telling us off as children, but all the time the same thing as you were saying. She um, shout from a room and then the rest of it. You always right. told us about it. You should know better. Let's we do have that. put the world to rights today. Mumbled, don't they? <laughs> teenagers, teenagers do everything badly. Can I just say something? I think <laughs> Steve McFadden's a very fine actor. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was the greatest crackhead soap has ever seen yeah. for good. the entire two weeks of his crack addiction. Yeah. And then he became a sports star again. <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> and he was like that in real life. Now, enough of the mutterings and the murmurings and the mumblings. So let's get on to psychic pet show. It's more like loose women now. You've got to admit. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm off. Now. <laughs> Talking pussies, uh, a fish that can oh, maybe oh, see into the future, a clairvoyant oh, cat, a mystic mouse. I've been trying to think of one that goes with hamster all morning and I just can't do it. Uh, 0207 173 555 is the number for your tales of psychic pets and we'll hear plenty of them after these. His pet cat recently predicted she'd have another baby. Amanda Lamb, Denise Van Outen or Holly Willoughby. Find out after this short break.